I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is the Child of the Wind Review by Barefoot Gaming. Okay, gave you a little bit of an idea with the trailer. Child of the Wind VR. Louis, what's the concept behind the game? You are a god, and your power is wind. And you have to help a tiny little sailboat go from point A to point B, pick up its cargo, and boy, the danger is on the way. And there's a lot of dangers on the way. <laughs> there are. So it's kind of neat. What happens is it's a big globe in the center, directly in front of you. You can spin it around so that you can adjust like what direction you're, you're facing. Yep. We found the easiest way was probably to step into it a little bit, so you're a little bit closer to the yes. ship with your fans. It felt like cheating, but... It did, but... It didn't stop us. There's no restriction for it. Oh, and what else we found out is, while Louie was putting down his headset, because we're trading back and forth, he saw... There's a little crank under the table, so you can lower it if it's kids playing. We're, we're a little bit taller than your average child, so we raised it up. And it was nice. Yeah, you can crank it all the way up or crank it down or adjust it however you want yeah. so yeah. that the world is, you're not hunched over. So there's different puzzles that it makes you go through. Uh, I don't think I'm doing any spoilers by saying one of them, for example, is a windmill. I love the windmill. It's my favorite bit. <laughs> it's a son of a bit. That's what that windmill is. Yes, it is. You have to fan the windmill to get the blade spinning and yeah. that'll open up gates. And Invariably, what'll end up happening is there's going to be bad ships on the back end or there's cargo that you've got to blow towards your ship while you're going through, but you have to keep the fan going on the blades. Yep, and, and if you don't, the doors start to close rather quickly. And while you're blowing to keep that windmill cranking the doors open and blowing the crates away and your enemies, you also have to find time to blow your ship through the gate. <laughs> yep. And it's... It's an adventure. <laughs> it is. It's an adventure. It, it's a very simple game, but it's. I found it was well done for for standing in one spot and focusing on something so small. It kept my interest. Yeah, and the graphics are nice. They're nothing super special. They are very simplified, but they're not blocky or grainy, and they're not super high def. But they're good. And the whirlpools that are spinning in the water, they yeah. actually have a spray that comes up that yep. you can actually visibly see yep. moving around. You don't just control the wind for your ship, we should also say. Yep. You control the wind for everything. So pirate ships, you can crash them into rocks. Yep. The cargo boxes you can pick up. Yeah, not pick up, but bring them towards you. Yes. And then at the end of the level, you pull into a new dock. And unload. And depending on how many boxes you've picked up, you either pass or don't pass the level, and as well as your bonus box. And that's pretty much the, the entire gist of the game. It doesn't penalize you by making things all kinds of weird. It just makes it more realistic in the sense that now you have to go through smaller channels. Now you have to try to get through different obstacles while other stuff's coming around you. I think we need to get to the review part of this game. Currently it's going for $14.44 Canadian on sale. It's 15% off right now as we do this review. Yep. Louis, how many of the fancy little whirlpool spritzy things out of five would you give this game and why? I think I would give it three and a half fancy spritzy whirlpool things just because even though it's a very simple game, it's it's intuitive, it's fun, I would think it's very replayable, and you don't have to play 100 levels to get through, and it still remains frustrating. It reminds me of the first Super Mario Brothers, the first time you play it, when you don't have the jumping down just right, or any of that stuff, and you're still figuring out the levels, because you don't have them all memorized. It was... I don't know what it was. I think that's something we should also point out. Like Super Mario Brothers, you can never go backwards. When the world moves on and it is slowly, constantly, always moving, that's it. 
If it's behind you, it's behind you. Yep. Unless it's a pirate ship and it's close, it'll still try to catch up. That's right. But aside from that, you miss some boxes or you miss some stuff, done. Yep. I would also give this a three and a half out of five. The reason for that is there aren't a crazy amount of levels. The replayability is more just to, as a completionist, you want to catch all the boxes Absolutely. on every level, which does add some replayability. It's not super expensive, but it's unique. Yes. And I actually give it extra points for that. I haven't really seen anything like this. We've done some RTSs. We've done a lot of first-person shooters. Yep. This is kind of like it's a sandbox game where you're just kind of blowing the thing around. Yep. That's it. That was... Child of the Wind by Freetail Games. And if you have any questions, let us know. We love to hear from you. We love to know if there's something you want to see. Like that subscribe button. That means quite a lot to us. When we see those numbers go up, we know we're doing something nice. Yep. Aside from that, that's it. Have a good one. We'll talk to you later. See ya.